Welcome to Antenna by Panda. Today I will be testing a four element Yagi designed for 157 MHz. This will be used by our Kabalikat friends in Batangas, Mr. Richard Orlina. So let's check the antenna configuration. So this is the tuning stub. You just need to put back the tuning stub in between those marking tapes. Make sure that you fully secure the connection and the feed line through and the boom. So tighten this nut. This is now connected to my vector network analyzer. So make sure that you also tighten the connection of the PL259 to the SO239 at the back of the antenna. So this is now connected to my vector network analyzer. So as we can see, the frequency sweep is from 150 to 160, as you can see at the bottom of the nano VNA. The usable bandwidth is from 150 as a transmitting antenna. So that's the uh, lowest frequency on the band. It's 153 MHz at 2 is to 1 SWR. So let's check the frequency at the end of the band. Usable bandwidth. So let's move the car sore. So as we can see it's about 159.4 or 160 at let's check 160. So it's almost 3 at 160. So this is usable up to 150.5 at 2.15 SWR. The center frequency is 157. As we can see on top of the screen, the white display. 157 at 1.04 SWR. So let's check the antenna reflection coefficient on the center frequency by changing the display. So select logarithmic magnitude. As we can see, we have 32.95 dB as you can see on the yellow display of the nano DNA. Uh, an impedance of 49.7 ohms so let's check the impedance actually this is the impedance as well so let's check the impedance on our smith chart as we can see the center of the smith chart is where our cursor is the green marker and the display on top for the impedance is 49.7 ohms. So that's it and thank you for watching.